Hello, it's Mary again. More than a hundred years ago, when lots of people didn't travel around very much, museums thought it was a good idea to show them some of the birds and animals by making display cases. Salisbury Museum had some of these cases in the storerooms and they've been put on display in the latest exhibition so you can come and have a look. You might like to make your own exhibition of things in display cases so I'm going to give you a few ideas. First you're going to need a box. An old cereal box would be fine. This is a slightly smaller one but that's okay too. You want to make a background picture for your case. So if you put your box onto a piece of plain paper and draw around it and then cut it out. The next thing you need to do is to decide what you want your background to look like. If you're going to make a fish like I did, you can make a watery background very easily by just using strips of tissue, stick them on. You could use felt tips, you could use anything really to make a nice watery looking background. You won't see very much of it, but it does make a difference. You could cut some nice pieces of card to look like reeds or rushes. If you look at my finished one, you can see the tissue background you can see I've put some of the green weeds at the front, but there's also these interesting weeds. I'm going to show you how to make those ones next. To make those weeds, you need a little cardboard tube. You can use part of a cardboard toilet roll, or you can just bend some card round. Make your tube, and this is crepe paper. It's a bit stretchy. And if you roll it round your tube, You can glue it or I'm going to just staple it to keep it together. Tuck one end in and then the other end, if you make lots of cuts down, and you've got a sort of almost like a sea anemone type of weed. And those look quite good because you can stick those to the back of your display case with some double-sided tape. You must fix them because otherwise when you move the case around they'll all fall over and as you can see your finished case will have a window over it so you won't be able to get to it once it's finished. So make sure you stick down your weed. Now you want to make your fish to put inside the case. So just draw a sort of fishy shape and cut it out. And now you have to decide how you want to decorate your fish. You could use sponge prints, you could make patterns on it, you could stick things on it. I'm going to leave that bit up to you. But what you will need is a nice eye. Now that eye is much too big for that fish, but you can draw one on or you can make a bigger fish. Once you've made your fish, you need to stick it to the back of your display case. So if you take a strip of card and just fold it in, fold it in again, and then the same at the other end. So you've made a sort of a box shape. And then if you stick one bit of that onto your fish, you can use double-sided tape 
on that bit and stick it to the back of your box so the fish will fit somewhere in the middle of your box but it will be sticking out. When you've got your case ready you need to take some cling film and if you pop some double sided tape at the top and the bottom of your box first and just stretch the cling film over and then wrap it round the sides as well and stick it and then you can see I've put some cardboard around my case to make it look better and it also helps to hold the cling film in place.